Hey guys, what's up? It's uh, Miguel giving you guys another Black Ops commentary, and then in this game, I will be using the M14, but not the M14. I'm going to be using the under barrel attachment, the master key. Yes, I am going to be taking up White Boy 7 Street's master key challenge. And basically, you can only use the master key, tomahawk, and your knife. And I'm, well, he said you can also use a C4, but I'm not really a C4 guy. I'm going to be using my jammer which is non-lethal and then um just just a tomahawk and a master key and my knife and i actually do really really well i go 39 and 15 with which is basically a 2.60 kill death ratio not the best kdr but it's an awesome um awesome kill count i guess uh 39 and 15 so i think that's pretty good just for the master key i mean i never get good like that good of a game sometimes with like a regular gun so i think that's pretty amazing but um the first thing you'll note about the master key is it's kind of inconsistent when it comes to like how far away you are from your enemy so sometimes even with them being really close you might shoot them and it won't always kill them and then sometimes you might be far away that oh you might think yeah, it might not kill them and then it actually does kill them so something to look out for the master key is it's very it's kind of inconsistent the bullet the bullet spreader right here right here watch this oh nice kill nice kill from miguel but um yeah i find that it's sort of the same as the i want to say the 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 spas so if you're if you're get if you're used to the spas spas 12 then you should be pretty used to the the um the under barrel attachment the master key because they both have like kind of like the same like mechanics i don't really know how to describe it but it doesn't feel it definitely doesn't feel like uh olympia it definitely doesn't feel like a stakeout and um it only has four rounds so i mean it kind of feels like a stakeout but not really i think it feels mo most like the spas in terms of just like how it shoots and stuff but um Again, I don't really like this attachment. Uh, this the master key was actually used as a sort of a door breaching, um, door breaching like tool for like assault rifles. So it wasn't really meant to actually kill anyone. It was more for like door breaching and like going inside for like close quarter combat and stuff like that. So I guess I guess it could be used to kill people. But I mean, oh, also I I forgot to mention that the my the last kill. The last kill is my awesome tomahawk. Tomahawk, tom 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 tomahawk. So yeah, make sure to look out for that. The last kill is my tomahawk. But yeah, like I said, the the master key was used more for a door breaching like tool device than a like actual killing device. So I think that's why it's not very useful in Black Ops multiplayer because you don't need to breach any doors. I mean, it'd be awesome if they put in some like new maps where you could use the master key to, I don't know, to like open door, open like secret hallways and secret doors and stuff like that and to like enter secret rooms. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. But um, yeah, that's why it's not very useful. I think it's just kind of like the, the flamethrower in that it's, it has like, basically it's just for the fun effect. And right there, I just get wrecked because I don't even know. I don't even know why I jump in there and I try and throw a lucky tomahawk. No luck. But um, yeah, I don't use the, my M14 at all. And um, I just think the only good under barrel attachment is actually the grenade launcher. I know a lot of people are going to whine about that. I mean, I personally never use the grenade launcher. Um, but I'm just saying that the rest of them, like the shotgun and the flamethrower, they pretty much suck balls. Ball sack. So, yeah. Um, I would never, never, ever recommend the flamethrower or the... The master key and and if you haven't checked out my white boy 7th street flamethrower challenge i'll post it in the description below definitely check it out and um yeah um i i like to use a tomahawk a lot for like long range that's why i have it equipped and then for obviously for short range i have the master key and um i i think it works pretty well in combination with each with each other once you actually get the hang of the tomahawk because the tomahawk can go pretty far it can it basically kills in one hit and uh and uh yeah, the master key obviously for short range. All you need to do is blast people in the face. See, right there, that was pretty inconsistent. Uh, and uh, yeah, usually when they're like close to like close mid range, it's almost always a one hit kill. Kill like right there, that was that was. I didn't think that was gonna be a one hit kill because it was so far away. But um, I think the note is always how 
how far you are, I guess you could say, from your opponent because that's basically what all shotguns are like, I guess, based on. But yeah, um, I would definitely go with like a regular shotgun rather than like the master key underbarrel attachment because it it just takes forever to like or it feels like forever when you switch like when you press that key and I just don't like I guess the feeling of it I'd rather have just like a, a dedicated shotgun and um yeah so we're coming up to the awesome tomahawk there I die um and watch 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 uh tomahawk Ooh, I don't know if you guys caught a glimpse of that but yeah I go 39 2.6 kill death ratio remember to like comment subscribe and yeah peace out guys Oh, if you didn't know, I like beatboxing. Yeah.